things to share with you. Forgive the appearance. My allergies, I'm telling you, it's crazy. My eyes are so itchy. They feel so like puffy and almost raw feeling. <sighs> it's really irritating. And now it's gotten cold. Well, cold for us. It's in the 60s. So, yeah. So I am not putting makeup on because if I do, then I'll be rubbing it all over the place and never looking for So you will have to suffer with my naked eyeballs. Trust me, I know they are not all that attractive. But look at the pages. Don't look at me. That's why you're here anyway. You're not here for me. Okay, so toolkit. We got the plastic tweezers, which I can do without. Wax tray. Beautiful PJ packaging for our special drills. And here is our canvas. Two of my favorites, owls and kitties. How perfect is that? Now, if there was a ladybug on here, it would just be like, there is no ladybug. Maybe I had to make a ladybug. That's a good idea. So there are 11 different stones on this canvas. It's not printed all that great. It's a little fuzzy. But again, from a distance, it looks okay. I know you always you always have to like back yourself up from these because this I do it every single time. I look at them like and then I go back. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so let's take a look and see what kind of beautiful stones we have for this painting. Okay, so we have the gold marquee and the red AB marquee. We have our smooth red rounds and little blue marquee. These are, are they smooth? Oh, they are faceted, okay. So we have two sizes of yellow. And then we have orange and beautiful deep blue. And then a lighter blue and a gorgeous dark green and deep red. I love them. Beautiful. Love these. These are so cool. Because they're clear on the bottom, but they're the gold metallic on the surface, which is really cool. Okay, let's put these away. Ooh. So sorry. You have know, that problem? You start talking and you start yawning. Okay. You're gonna see. Okay, this next one, let's see. I want to do these kind of in an order. We're gonna do this, this, and this. Okay, so this one is one of those that when I first opened it, I was like, what did I get? And then I had to like back up from it. I was like, oh yeah, that's what I got. So toolkit, very simple, standard toolkit. PJ packaging on the drills. And as you can see, maybe, not very well, we have a fairly monochromatic painting. Something gross on the canvas. So let me roll this guy backwards. Now, in case you are new and you don't know, if you get a canvas that has the clear cover on it, that means that the glue has been poured, it was a liquid glue, and they poured it on and let it dry, and then they put the clear over it. So it is okay to roll your canvas backwards to help flatten it out. 
if you get a canvas that has the opaque covering, that is double-sided tape. And do not roll that canvas backwards because it can separate the tape from the canvas. So that is just your little FYI 411 for this video. All right, so this dude is super cool. Emily and I are big fans of Jurassic, the Jurassic franchise. So this happens to be one of our favorite. This is blue, well, stylized version of blue, the Velociraptor from Jurassic World. He's so cute. That's so cool. So cool. But I love how you just see like bits and pieces from the light. So she's like jumping out of the darkness. It makes it extra, extra creepy. So Emily has this hobby where she buys the plastic um, raptor masks and alters them. They're so cool. Okay, so this is in progress. So as you can see, it's just a mask that is the Velociraptor face. And she paints them. This is going to be a bumblebee theme. I would y'all know about this one. She added little ears, so they just become they become little fantasy creations. Hold on. What's her name? Pebble. This is Pebble. This is Sky. And then this is Sky. So all she does is takes these masks and turns them into awesome new creatures. So this has tool for the eyeballs, and this one has plastic canvas for the eyeballs. Does that feel weird? <laughs> no, it doesn't look weird. Um, so that is one of the reasons why I picked that painting is because of our Velociraptor fascination so can you can, can see you can see the original colors in there so that is a cosplay <laughs> hammer that she made from a pvc pipe and a box and then that is the mask that matches that character so you can see she added some flowers turn your head towards the window she added some flowers they're just fun little creations that she has a blast making. So that is the reason I got the creepy dinosaur painting. <laughs> okay, so we aren't going to go through the colors. There are 17 different colors, and literally they are blue and gray. There's a purple, there's a brown. So we will skip going through all the shades of blue and gray on that since we had our little tangent show and tell there. But she has a lot of fun doing them. And it's harmless. It's just... It gets her off the computer for a little while. So this next one is another plain toolkit. I really wish they would um, give you the option of not getting the toolkit. Because it just seems so wasteful. All these kits that have gone into the garbage. I have sent some to newbies. Um, that wanted to like boost their collection quicker, but it's like, and now that I don't use the green boats at all, green trays, um, yeah, I, I don't save any of them anymore. So I wish I could get them to quit sending them. They should, when you order from their website, see this, this is why I should be in like customer service for these places. When you order from their website at checkout, you should be able to click beginner or expert or advanced, whatever. And if you are a beginner, then you get toolkits, trays, pins. But if you are advanced, they don't send them. I think that would be a very, very good idea. So if y'all are listening out there, make that change to your website. All right, this one got a little bit. This is another one of my favorite movies. This is one that if I see it on TV, I will watch it. Or sometimes I will just go grab the DVD, because of course I have the DVD, um, and put it in just for something to watch. So this is 
reminiscent of Ice Age. This is a mammoth and a saber-toothed tiger. So this is not actually from the cartoon, but it made me think of the cartoon. So Manny and, um, oh my gosh, my brain just went Arr! full stop. Anyway, aren't they cool? I love it. The saber tooth is like, Arr! it's a very, very cool painting. I like it a lot. So this one has 19 colors. And let's see how many shades of brown, if there are any brown. Because usually when you get stuff like this, that they surprise you and it's not what you think it should be. So I see a lot of black, some browns and some blues. Not as many different colors as I expected, but surprisingly more browns than I expected. So here we have blue, kind of a mauve, and then two dark browns. Then we have two more blues and another this is a burgundy color. Then here we have brown, blue, and a very pale gray. Mossy green, and then two more brown. Two more gray and a black. So that is the extent of the black on this canvas. So that is not too bad. It's a little bit more than I was hoping but not too bad. And then we have brown and then two more pinks. So it's kind of surprising to see the pink in there, but if you look closely at the canvas, the pinks will be the highlights. So you can see on his leg here and up here on his tusk, instead of being white highlights, they're gonna be pink highlights, which is really cool. So I think this is gonna turn out really neat. I like it. I'm trying, since I, I'm getting such an extensive collection, I'm really trying to step outside my norm and get some different paintings. Because, I mean, you can only have so many cute cats and beautiful flowers and butterflies, and that's what I have the majority of. So I'm trying to step outside the box and uh, branch out. Sounds good, right? Okay, next, these I'm super excited about. These are very, very cool. So again, we have our standard toolkit. We have our PJ packaging. Look at those gorgeous colors. Look how pretty. Again, this is a monochromatic type painting. And it is awesome. And when I first started, I hated the pieces with the solid color backgrounds because it just seems so boring. But as I have evolved in my craft, I have noticed that when you have the solid background, the main image really comes out at you. Plus, I have learned how to use the nine and 10 drill placers. So the solid color backgrounds go much faster and they're not quite as monotonous as using a single placer which is why I hated them to begin with. So this is really an awesome image. So you have the wolf and then you have a wolf inside howling at the moon with the trees. This, I don't know, this just captivated me. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest image I have seen in a long time. So I had to have it. Not to mention the fact that it's all turquoise. Well, not turquoise, these are teals really pretty colors. So I'm anxious to see the different shades because I'm seeing some really interesting shades compared to what is on the canvas. So let's jump right in. There are 19 colors on this. Lots of white, of course. No DMC numbers. None of these have the DMC numbers on them. So we have four bags of the background and then there are four shades of teal we have an interesting little purple there two more light teals and then a very dark blue and 
this is a very, very pale blue, light gray, and a turquoise color. So see what I mean how these lighter colors are really surprising. It's a beautiful deep green and a gray and another dark blue. And then we have three grays and black. So this is very cool. So I'm very interested in seeing this one done. Like for instance, these two colors right here in the center. So that is 12 and 13. Let's see where they're gonna go. 12 and 13 is A and P. So the colors on the canvas are not accurate. So if you see around the base of the moon, that's where those very pale colors are gonna go, which is really interesting because I was kind of hoping it would be this color, but it's gonna be more, I don't know, just have to wait and see, right? Hopefully I will be pleasantly surprised, but I still love the image. And I'm very anxious to see this one completed. So this next one kind of goes along with this same type of image, but it is my favorite critter. Okay, again, toolkit. PJ Packaging, they are consistent in their packaging, so that's a plus. So there are 17 colors on this one, surprisingly. Isn't that cool? I just think that is awesome. Super simple, but so stunning. I really love it. So let's take a look and see how there are 17 colors. Because of course the majority of the owl is black. So the bulk of the colors are in the tree, which blows my mind. I mean, it is so cool. There are some random splattering of color around the perimeter of the owl, but the majority of the colors are in the red. This is very cool. So like I said, 17 colors. I changed my shirt now to get warm. Okay, so we have three bags of white, and those are fat bags. Look at those pinks, how beautiful. So we have this beautiful purple, and then those three shades of kind of a corally pink. There are two more purples, three more purples. Looks like kind of a gray, oh, it's still purple. And then dark blue. Coral, two more purples and a gray. This is cool. I might have to do this one next. Then we have this beautiful cherry red color, gray, black, and deep purple. This is very interesting. These are very, I'm very intrigued by these. So all the, I mean, where's the purple? It's so cool. I love these three colors. So again, the colors are a little bit different from what the canvas is printed with, but I think it still is going to turn out really, really pretty. So that is all I have for you today. Make sure you click the link in the description box and go check them out and order from them and show them some love because they have awesome customer service and awesome images, some that I have never seen before, as you can see. Um, so I will see you again real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.